Hi folks, we're back with Terrapin, the turtle archaeologist. And we have a bunch of stuff on our to-do list, but right now our main thing is going deeper into the dungeon. Um, before that, though, one thing I would like to do is we have two moonstone rings. So I've decided I'm going to drop one down a sink, which is not something I have a habit of doing. But... Um, why not? Let's give it a shot. So if we drop O, we see some air in the sink. I guess that's probably levitation. Mm hmm. Nope, apparently it's sea invisible, which I already have. Okay, well. <laughs> um, I already have seen visible, so I certainly don't regret the loss of the ring. Um, neat. Uh, where were we? Wait, how did I? Oh, right, I'm flying now. I forgot that I had an amulet. What level am I on? D level 12? Hmm. Why am I up here again? Oh, right, okay. Well, um, I'm trying to remember what I was doing in the past video and I was just running around here sacrificing things if I remember correctly so once I saw the gnome I decided I'd just give that one last shot and yeah let's explore further into the dungeon um, I am going to leave this stuff in a stash somewhere but the question is where? Oh my gosh, you hear someone counting money. We have ourselves a vault, folks, finally. Uh, I'm not going to dig it out now, though. Okay, so I'd like to drop a couple of things here just to unburden myself. Um... stick with this stuff for now and that gives me a bit more than a hundred AUM to work with I am happy with that and I can't remember does any grant poison resistance they do so let's eat it Oh, I'm satiated right now, so I'll hold off for the moment. Um, it seems like we likely have another throne, or a throne room, not Izzy this time. Um, including an elven king, which may have a mythful pickaxe. They sometimes get those, but they are also decently scary enemies. Do have an Aklas I can use against him though. Okay, I th think... How many centers are there? There's the one and two and three and none of them are peaceful. Okay, I think I would not like to disturb the throne room for the moment. And another owlbear too. Okay. This level might actually be worse than the one I'm trying to avoid further up in the dungeon. So, ooh, and a crystal chest, which I cannot currently open. Um, so I might actually go up again, finally find Sokoban, maybe use the vault money. Um, to buy some protection. That would be cool. Um, as you can see, we found another brown pudding. So... I'm stocking up on some more resistances. 
I'm sure I've got to be close to being totally poison resistant, which is neat. I'm also getting a fair bit of damage done to me though from all the acidic corpses. Um, so that's not fun. Only a couple by round pudding is left. I suppose. Oh, um, that's three, right? We had one, two, three. Yes. Okay. Um, I suppose I don't care too much about like harvesting brown puddings responsibly. <laughs> Um, because I can always get more back at mine town, but I don't know. And they're just not leaving corpses anymore. I was lucky with the first few. Now that I know that this dagger, this dagger is recognizable, I don't need it to have a name anymore. And I feel like it's probably bad for its self-esteem, the poor thing. We are completely healthy, which means we're totally poison resistant. That's lovely to know. Um, still got a ways to go with shock resistance. We're at 45%. Which, you know, is decent. But. And then cold, we're a little bit ahead of the curve from the winter wolf cubs that we ate. Okay, well, that's probably all the puddings here. That's fine. Um, I kind of prefer to have them all dead so I can, like, wear my fedora and not have to worry about that. Doesn't grant me any AC, but it's useful against um, I wonder if I can kill the troll multiple times and identify my spears that way. Uh-oh. Uh need to take off my fedora again for sure. Do not want to get it more burnt put my new potions in my bag and flee for the hills um, if slash when the sphere explodes on me it will wake everyone up I might be able to trap it in this room Okay, I was hoping I could get around to the other door, but now I'm trapped next to this gecko. Um, at this point it looks like it's going to explode on me at some point. I'll just let it happen now so I don't forget about it later. far enough away that the throne room didn't wake up. I'm not really willing to risk it. Um, we are going up to face the beehive then. Um, oh, that's a very long worm. They tend to have a lot of health, like dragon levels of health, but they're not terribly dangerous. So I mean, I assume the vault, yeah, okay, it's over here. 
Um, and we found Ludios. That's great. Love Ludios. I'm not going to explore it for now, for sure. Actually, real quick, though. So we've got ourselves Sea Dragon, Gray Dragon, Yuck. I do have a lot of ranged up into those, so it's not too big a deal. Gold Dragon, and another Gray Dragon, and a Green Dragon. Okay. Well, that will be exciting. The green dragon might actually be a bonus. Because um, its breath won't hurt me. But uh, it will kill enemies. Um, sea dragon is not as scary as it might usually be because I'm a turtle, so it can't drown me. Other dragons are what they are. Gray is not too fun. I have to worry about cancellation, but as long as I take them down from range, they don't do any damage. So most passive attacks will damage the weapon you're using. Like if you hit a black dragon, your weapon might disintegrate. Um, Oh, another hill giant. Well, I'm certainly trying. going to try to avoid that one. Yet another reason to leave. Ooh, and just a whole bunch of elf zombies. This is not, this is not good. This is really not good. Okay, I'm gonna zap this wand at the Hell Giant Shaman. If it gets canceled, we're in luck. If it gets teleported, that's also good. I guess it was teleportation. So it's been used twice, once to engrave, and once just now. Actually, this light wand was also used once, and the striking was also used once for that matter. And I think I might be behind on my lightning wand. It might have been used a few more times, I don't remember. But... Basically, the main point is it's been zapped a lot, and it is somewhat unreliable now, unfortunately, because it could disintegrate at any moment. Right side, we have ourselves another four elf tins, which is 32% more sleep resistance when I get around to eating them, which we'll leave out now. Um, I think I'm actually going to put a stash on this level since it has a lawful altar I'll probably be coming back here a fair bit and eventually I can bring the box over somewhere or bring the crystal chest up from the level two levels below if I ever get around to having a way to open and close that um, point is um, Point is, this is, seems like a good place to leave stuff. So I'm bringing all the gold for protection. Don't really need these on me. Um, certainly don't need spell books. I'll bring both holy waters, I guess. And all the unpriced ID stuff I want to bring. But I'll only take one of each kind of potion, and I'll avoid bringing the cursed ones along. Um, I'll bring the two curse, the two acids, actually, just because I don't have a lizard yet. Uh, 
Okay, that seems good for now. Um, Alrighty, I'm just barely underweight, but I, once I eat the elf tins, that'll give me 40 more AM to work with. Hmm. Anything else I can drop? I have some tins. I can drop the Zan meat, I'm not going to use it. And I'll bring out this tent so I remember to eat it when I get hungry. That'll help with that as well. Okay. And I'm actually going to remember to name a level stash for once. Shocking right now. Uh, damn, damn. I forgot how terrifying this level was. How fast are it in mummies? Speed 12, okay. Not as fast as a giant mummy. I still cannot believe giant mummies are speed 14. That's just bizarre. Um, regardless, I'd like to avoid them. Oh, it seems like honey badgers and bees grudge each other. That does make sense, and I am very glad of it. Uh, Oh, and now that it's next to me, it's forgotten about its grudge. Less good. And there's now pathway. Oof. Think I'm gonna take on the Etten mummy here. Oh, frickin' the honey badger's after me too. Now. Oh, this is super not good. I am very much regretting this. <laughs> what can the net mommy do again? <sighs> I don't think I can run away that easily. I mean, is that my teleport wand at myself? And I entered a beehive, because of course. Well, I might as well get the royal jelly then. Oh, and now I'm burdened. Um, let's eat our elf meat real quick. At some point, I'll get around to properly updating that, but today is not that day. Um, these twos are probably the honey badgers coming for me. So that's fun. They're like all Terminator style. It looks like I will be fleeing to Sokoban. Oh, and of course, the queen bee is chasing after the honey badgers, probably. Oh, are they... Let's just see what's going on here. Okay, one honey badger down. That's very good. Now that I'm... Okay, I just wanted to come upstairs just to like, get the lay of the land up here, make sure I had a safe place to retreat to. I do. So let's see if we can make this work. That is dealt with. Let's come back up here to rest up. Ooh, a barrel of white. We'll have to watch out for that. But we can take it pretty easily, nonetheless. Actually, I'll just wait for it over here. And then take it out from range. You can cast spells, but nothing too awful. Um,
Okay, uh, I'm pretty happy with this. Um, I guess we can get the ball rolling, or the boulder rolling, on Sokoban. We've got ourselves two scrolls of earth, that's neat. Burgundy in, not great. One day we will have ourselves a properly set up stash and maybe even a bag of holding, and this will not be happening as much. One day. Um, I don't know, I kind of want to keep all this other stuff around. I guess I can drop the gold. Let's hope a rock mold doesn't uh, generate. Okay, and then this goes... Yeah, I got this. Oops. What have we, what have we here? A Sasquatch and Peaceful. Okay, we gotta watch out for that. Don't want to have to end up killing it. And of course, we would... Oh, that was dangerous. I think Sasquatches are large, so they probably can't squeeze past diagonal boulders. So I shouldn't have moved the boulder up to here until I knew the, uh, the Sasquatch wasn't behind it. Oh, another wand. Magic missile. It's a solid, solid wand. Okay. Um, I'm going to start throwing spears now. Okay. Cockatrice is down. Didn't even leave a corpse. That's good. I didn't want to have to deal with that. Um, and I'm switching to wielding my mythical spears again so I can hopefully ID them and get them all to stack. That would be lovely. Thank you. Certainly isn't a threat. Shocking sphere is rather a threat. Yes. Um, and I'm pretty shock resistant now. Still did a fair bit of damage. Ouch. But it did not get my wands. So I'm happy. Where did that. I think the Sasquatch is in this room now. Uh, that's kind of a pain. Much prefer it stayed out here. Uh, oh, water elemental. Okay, that was easy enough. Actually, no, I should still keep the spears for throwing. Actually, I'll start with my Atlas against the Honey Badger, which is the lesser threat, but still not going down. Okay. Wow. Took three spear spears to the face, and it's basically fine. And I do not want to have to fight them both at once. Okay, we don't have to fight them both at once. Lovely. Man, this level is just a wreck after the honey patches have chewed through it. They're all gone though. Thank goodness. Right, that's a peaceful unicorn, so that's not much help. Is this a spellbook or it is a door? Wow.
So yeah, I think I've lost the maximum hit point to this jerk. But I hopefully will not lose any more. No, I'm not going to waste the time picking up one spear when I can pick up four. Oh, and... Okay, mommy down. Oh, looks like the orc found a bunch of the royal jelly somehow. Don't know how that happened. But now I have nine lumps of royal jelly. So that's enough for a fair bit of strength. Very cool. Um, okay, I'm going to get this back. And let's start in on that royal jelly. Why not? Um... And get back to hitting enemies, killing enemies with these spears. Ooh, okay, is this scare monster? It is, because everything's turning to flee. Well, I guess I'll leave it on the ground until I deal with all these enemies here. Because why not take advantage of that? Hmm, close to burdened again. But yeah, I'll be picking it up eventually. Winter wolf, like a grown up one, that's cool. Oops, not in range yet. Oop, we have ourselves a live wraith corpse. Well, yeah, let's get some more levels. Why not? How much cold resistance does a winter wolf give? Seven percent. Okay, whatever. Sure. Um, I'm getting cold resistance from the brown puddings too, so I've got to be pretty close to one hundred percent there, which is neat. Um, let's see what this unidentified tin is actually. Bug beers. Okay. Well, that unencumbered me, and this will re-encumber me. So I've picked this one up. I'm going to indicate that there. That doesn't necessarily mean... Yeah. I... Yeah, so what happens with square monsters, if you pick up a blessed scroll, it becomes uncursed. If you pick up an uncursed scroll, it... Um, flips a bit so that, n not literally, but um, the next time you pick it up when it's uncursed, it will disintegrate. And if you pick up a cursed scroll, it disintegrates. Um, so if the scroll was blessed, then me picking it up will mean that it's uncursed now, but has not flipped that bit. Well, if I picked it up when it was uncursed, it will still be uncursed, but it will have flipped that bit. And I have no idea of knowing which one it is. Um, and the two kinds of scrolls, uncursed scrolls, won't stack with each other, is another thing. So it's kind of hard to keep track of that, but it is important to keep track of it so that you don't lose all your scary monster scrolls. Um, we have ourselves a quantum mechanic, lovely. Uh, didn't leave a corpse, not lovely. I was hoping to have some way of regaining speed if necessary, but oh well. Um, Okay, what more can we drop here? These food rations. Okay, that's good. Oh, our spears have been identified. Lovely. Um, hmm. I think I will wield just one of them. Um, but, like, if I face a dangerous enemy, I can throw all six spears instead of just five, which is a very slight advantage, I suppose. Um, anyway, uh, I just wanted to finish up the first Zagabon level for completeness' sake. 
but we're going to mine town next, guys, because this Sasquatch gets out of the way. Okay, I'm just. Oh, there's a mindless. It's probably like a zombie or something. Because yeah, it moves, but it's slow and low level. Well, zombies usually get worn out if they're decently high level. Let's back up a bit so I can see what I'm doing. It's an acid blob. So that would that would do it. Uh. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Locust. Bad, bad, bad. Oops, this doesn't work properly. Whatever. Um, I guess, yeah, I have to do it this way. Whatever. Um, yeah, we'll throw... <sighs> okay. Um, yeah, they have a sickness attack and they're pretty fast. Faster than I am, anyway. Uh, which level am I on? Level 9. So, I could probably get this acid blob over to sacrifice, but I have to deal with the stash on that level, which maybe I should do anyway. Okay, yeah, I'll give that a shot. Um, and I can ID this ami- uh, ID the beatitude of this amulet. Which, yes, I would very much like to do. I'll take this long sword as well. Or can I leave anything so I'm not burdened? Let's see. Yeah, I mean, let's just leave a bunch of random potions here. I don't know. Let's keep the blessed one, maybe. Okay. Hmm. Oops, I forgot that I have spears quivered. Alrighty, um, I don't know how to sink. Yep. I pretty much ignore sink, so I'm not actually sure how common they are off the top of my head. But it feels like there's been a bunch of them. Oh, and there's the hill giant. Okay, forgot about that. Yeah, screw that. So, off to mine town, I suppose, we go. However we get there. Alright, that's the core. Um, and yeah, I'm going to drop some stuff here, I guess. Um, yeah, my stashing is really screwed up. Not done a good job with that. I'm just going to drop everything but the blessed things and the acid. And I guess the gain ability. And I'll keep a potion of paralysis. And I do not need this many AD scrolls. If it's remove curse, I only really need one. If it's enchant armor, I could use it on the protection gauntlets maybe, but I don't know if I'll bother. Uh, cursed identify, I don't need at the moment. Or uncursed, really. Enchant weapon, I don't really need. Oh. Um, I'm gonna be on a diet of royal jelly for the future, foreseeable future, so I don't need a lot of this food, I guess. Uh,
Keep the curse string for price ID. Yeah. Hit under 850 units. What else can I maybe drop? Mm, I think I'd like to keep most of the, the other stuff. That's good enough for now. Mm. And the yellow light reminds me I still don't have a unicorn horn. It's a bit rare. Still hungry, I guess I should go for more royal jelly. Um, at least the royal jelly will get me up pretty high in strength. Probably enough for another point of damage bonusing. What's this here? Oh, it's a nymph. Okay. Easy as pie. What if I hashtag it as QDQ? Okay, no matter what, I'll always wield them if I merge the stacks. Which is probably good gameplay wise, but it is annoying for me at this moment. Whatever, um, we have ourselves our altar here, test out this amulet, which could well be something quite useful, you never know, uncursed, so put on the cubicle amulet, we're going to take off our mithril shield, and then this is the moment of truth, we are going to magic missile ourselves in the face. Actually, I might actually take off my gauntlets of protection too to get my AC, make my AC worse. Um, okay. Where's magic missile? Zap. Oh. Okay. It hit me. Magic missiles did not bounce off. Nothing was reflected. Thus, this is not MR or reflection. Um, this is a shame. Uh, it's not guarding either, because that would show up. It is... It could be, I don't know, restful sleep. It could be unchanging, which would actually be quite useful with poly control. I'm kind of wishing I had an ID scroll now, just for the amulet. I do have an ID scroll. Oh, and I forgot to curse test everything. Oops. There you go. It's uncursed. Lovely. Um, time for another royal jelly. Let's unconfuse ourselves. Okay. Um, and what do we really want to ID? Rings always. I guess this and this. Hmm. This, 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 this. Oh, I had enough slots for all of those. Wow. Do I care about anything else? Nah, not particularly. I know what everything else is. So, let's read or scroll. What is this amulet? Magical reading. Okay, it's no one changing. Oh, I named it, not called it. That was silly of me. Regardless, uh, I will certainly keep it around. It means... Actually, 
I think I'll wear it as my default. Uh, yeah, that means gelatinous cubes are no longer scary to us, which is great. Um, flying is mostly useful if you need to like fly over something. Uh, given that we are not currently trying to do that, um, I think magical breathing is the better choice, even though basically the only thing it helps us against is gelatinous cubes. And I guess choking to death, but whatever. Um, you have so much random stuff. Pardon the interruption. I was switching to my recording software to see how that was getting along. And sometimes when I do that, it just decides it's time to close. <laughs> uh, and it saves everything when it does that, so it's not a huge deal. But for a second, I thought I hadn't been recording for like the last half hour and I was freaking out. Um, but we're back now. I mean, on the video, I don't think I ever left, but that's why I had saved. Anyway, uh, we're going to have to drop more stuff here so we're not burdened. This is just so much inventory management. I became, I was a turtle so, precisely so I didn't have to deal with this stuff. I mean, that's not why, but it's definitely a fringe benefit. Uh, I guess I don't really need an Aklas anymore. Steel Aklas, because I have all these Mithril Rustproof Spears for ranged attacks. Certainly don't need all these food rations. Don't need this many tripe rations. Don't need nymph meat right now. Honestly, I have enough ID scrolls, I should probably just bless a stack of them. But I've left some of them behind elsewhere. If I'd been keeping track of my stashes properly, maybe I would have remembered that and not read an uncursed one, which was a slight waste. Not that much of a waste at the end of the day. Um, it's not like I have that many things to ID yet, even. Uh, okay. Probably a zombie up here. Nope. That's a lucky break. I'm hungry again. Royal jelly, I guess, is not very filling. Okay, I'm just gonna lock this door. I'm pretty sure the shopkeeper won't let the zombies pass. But I think it's possible it could die. Ooh, gremlin. I'm gonna go over and kill that real quick. It is not nighttime. But if I come back during the night time, I wouldn't want to have to face it then, so... Let's kill it now instead. Okay. Um, you know, I'm going to move this zombie statue so it doesn't give me a heart attack every time I come up the stairs. Now it'll only give me slight pause. Oh, there actually are zombies on level 2, forgot about that. And a floating eye. Good to know. Um, okay, what am I dropping? Steel Longsword is plus 0. Uh, I'll keep it around. Oops. Oh, nah. Did I name my... Oop, my Screwed that up. Um, I'm gonna keep it around. I could always, if I find like a mithril longsword or something, maybe I'll want to make a mithril katana. Um, that is, of course, dependent on me actually having skill in longsword, which I currently don't. But when I get crowned, I'll unlock it. If I happen to receive sun sword or excalibur before that, I will unlock it. And longswords are pretty awesome, so I wouldn't be surprised if I end up using them. Anyway, I'm keeping the sword around is the point. Let's see what else do I have to price ID. These two scrolls, a whole bunch of rings. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Um, cursed 150. Either 150 or 200. Well, 
There's only one like habitually cursed rain per price category, if that makes sense. Um, so like for 100 Zork mid rings, uh, the, the bad ring is hunger and it generally ha generates cursed. For 150, it's aggravate monster and generally generates cursed. For 200 Zork mids, it's teleport. For 300, it's polymorph. Um, so the fact that I have two 150 Zork mid rings that are cursed means that one of them is probably actually beneficial. It just happens to generate the cursed. Or it's, you know, like a ring of gain constitution or something. I think that's 150. And it's negatively enchanted. Or increased accuracy or damage, you know, etc. Uh, so, I mean, like, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be beneficial itself, but it's of a beneficial type, at least a potentially beneficial type, depending on the enchantment. Long winded way of saying one of those rings is probably useful, but I have no idea which. And that specific, one of those kinds of rings is probably useful, but those particular rings probably aren't. Uh, yeah, those are zombies. Run away, run away. Oh, I can't run away. Wait, uh, there we go. Um, more royal jelly. To 1828. That's pretty solid. Um, I have to fight the temptation to eat all these zombie corpses because I'm like far enough along in the game that it feels like I should have a unicorn horn and I keep on forgetting actually I don't. Okay. Um, now that I'm in the gnomish mines, flying is probably more useful. But, oh, well, it's more convenient at least, but I think magical breathing is still the safer amulet to be wearing. Wait, where am I going over here? For some reason, I thought that rock trap was the downstairs. Spoiler alert, it was not. Actually, I'm going to adjust these. Because they're not, I'm not habitually quivering the spheres, because then my atlas doesn't work properly when I move it. But I can throw them, and the slot for things that I will often throw but will not quiver is T. Yes, I have a specific slot for that. Uh, okay, well, there's pudding somewhere around here. And I, when did I drop my awful dagger? What? Alas. York. Maybe I have like a, an iron wand I can use instead. I think hexagonal or spiked would be iron. Which one was hexagonal? Teleportation. I don't want to like break it if that's something you can do. I'll try using my magic missile wand to fight ground puddings. Um, I don't really care if it breaks or like something bad happens to it. Aha! <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Why did I ever need an awful dagger when I could just use a wand? One problem with my strength getting up higher. Oh, frick. Forgot about my fedora. Luckily, it did not rot away. I'm kind of surprised I haven't found a better hat yet. Maybe I just haven't been looking carefully enough. Anyway. Um, we've got a ways to go. Uh, I'm going to get cold resistance a fair bit, but finished like four puddings before, no, three puddings before. Um, shock resistance, so that's a good way to keep track, because certainly I'm not remembering to update my Oilskin sack list anymore. Yeah, let's like simplify this. Uh, 
what the hell, I'll be optimistic and say we have all three of these resistances, even though we haven't gotten that far yet. I believe in us. And yeah, I'm just not going to keep track. I'm just going to keep eating until they're all... I'm all resistant. Maybe. Not getting many corpses. And I'm killing a shocking amount of puddings despite this not being a proper weapon. There we go. And oh, it's a large cat. Hmm. Maybe I should tame this fellow. Oh, did I bring the gold up? Frick, I did not bring the gold up. Man. All right, let's kill this cat then. I'm not gonna drag it all over Kingdom Come getting the gold back. Ah. Oh. I, yeah, I, I should get protection. There's no way around that. Um. Ooh. Oh. I was going to say that was a nice consolation for being stupid and forgetting my gold, but so much for that. Alright, and there's zombies on the levels. I can get full of Oh, Rose, where did those come from? Mithril key, that's decently solid. Um, especially as a turtle, it's nice to have something rust proof. And I have to be careful here not to eat the zombie corpses. Okay. Um, is there anything I need to price ID? No. No, there isn't. Okay. Um, why am I going this way? Whatever, I guess I will get to the stairs eventually. One benefit of going through that level is probably eventually the zombie will take care of the shopkeeper. Although actually, probably shopkeepers can drink potions to cure their sickness, I would imagine. And they're smart enough to do that, I would again imagine. So if the shopkeeper dies, likely I will not get potions from them, which is shame. It's like largely the reason you want to kill shopkeepers anyway. I mean, usually by the time you have the ability to, the only thing you really, you don't really care about the gold so much that they carry. It's more about the supplies. Whatever. Um, at this point in the game, I suppose I do still care about the gold to some extent. I'm just kind of collecting everything. Okay, let's let this thing blind me. It did. Oops. I'm just going to dump the solid soak upon, I guess. I guess? I guess, yeah. Uh, What should I put in? Let's go with comestibles, I suppose. <sighs> We're getting there. There's a lot of floating eyes around. Good if I ever find a nice pet, but it's also kind of a pain to watch out for. All 
Uh, one thing, maybe I should be reading some spell books. Let's see. 17 plus 5 is 20. Yeah, I'm well able to read level 2 spell books, so I'm going to do that. I'm just taking out everything right now, dropping most of it, and I can sort out what stuff I want and don't want and later in terms of potions and scrolls, that is. This stuff I might as well sort out now, I suppose. Um, oh, I should put on my hat now that I see that. Before eating, I don't want to go through all those prompts. 1840. I think that was a fair jump. I can't remember what I was at before. Oh, I'm where that. There we go. Uh, now I'm stylish. Okay, neither of those spells are amazing. Um, wizard luck can certainly be helpful for like uh, securing rooms every once in a while, or like a stash room maybe. Sometimes altars, altar rooms. Uh, it's also great if you have opening, because then you can or not, because then you can open and close, op uh, unlock and lock crystal chests, but I don't have knock right now, so wizard lock is not particularly helpful. Okay, what do I need? I need the gold. I need the gold for certain. <laughs> um, let's take a blessed scroll of... Oh, fuck! I dropped the scare monster scroll. That was dumb. Um, really hope it doesn't disintegrate. Well, I'll know what kind of scroll it is. That's something. Need the acid, I'll take this blessed potion. Take these rings. Scroll turned to dust, damn. That was really, really stupid. That's like a jet get out of jail free card that I just threw away. Oh well. Um, at least, no, no corpse from that either. Could have gotten some sleep resistance. Um. Well. We're on our way to finally get protection, at least. And we've got a little bit more cold resistance. Still not fully cold resistant, which I find slightly surprising, I think. Oops. Right, there's zombies afoot. Do not want to fast travel near them. Or at least only fast travel when I know it won't be for many squares at once. Are there also zombies afoot here? I can't remember. 
I don't think so. Here we are again. Well, at least the puddings are back in fighting form. I'm going to try to like slip them and then leave them alone for a while so they can get some more health back. Okay, I'm at 4,400. I'm cutting it pretty close actually for my first protection. But I've got this. And I got four full points. That's nice. And for our last Royal Jelly, we don't make it to 1850, which I think is a cutoff. So that's a shame. Full of hot air. Okay, we're pretty close then. I think we need four more corpses to be fully shock resistant. Four more globs, whatever. On the other hand, we're kind of running out. Oops. Turn that for later poly, or I can, yeah, I have poly control. So that's another check out a jail free card actually. Well, it's not quick for me to eat it. Maybe I should have blessed my tin tinning kit. I don't know. I I only have two holy waters at the moment. I don't want to waste them. Care of the zombie first. Okay, and then oh, oh, and they rotted my hat away. Damn, totally forgot about that. Whatever. Uh, the zombies at least are locked in a shop with his jack. Good luck with that, I say. Um, this check is currently immortal, which is not intentional, but yeah, he'll take care of the puddings just fine, or the zombies just fine. <sighs> We're getting there. I think we just need one more. Yes! Okay, we can kill all these other annoyances. I think that's about all of them. and resistant now. On the other hand, I'm still kind of in the middle of a fight here. So, it's probably for the best. 
Those arrows were all misfired, so they're probably cursed. Oh, and I got stun locked. I was too cocky. <sighs> Phew. Um, this dagger is uncursed because it's from it's the same as the awful dagger I made. So I'll use that to open this slightly perkier 5% sleep resistance okay and then I just gotta wait out the stun okay Okay, that was, I think, close to being stale. I'm not going to continue eating that then. Hmm. Don't think I need any of this. Okay, let's continue exploring then. Ooh, silver dagger, nice. Never say no to silver. Ooh, and a lit sewer level. Generate, uh, and I fell in a trap door to the lit sewer level. Okay, I guess that's happening. Oh, I see invisible. Okay. Um, since I'm fully poison resistant. This isn't since I'm fully poison resistant, uh, I'm not scared of cockroaches, and I'm not scared of um, sewage because I'm a turtle, so I don't get slowed by it. So basically, if anything, this level's an advantage because it slows other things. I think it does anyway. Silver Atlas, love it. glass. Not quite as fun. I'm surprised all these dwarves are hostile to me all of a sudden. I thought we were best bros being waffles together and all that. I don't think amber is very valuable. Yeah, 1000 is actually decent. Nothing like emeralds though. Okay, those are probably cockroaches hiding in the sewers. They don't scare me, but I do not feel a particular call to kill them either, so I'll just leave them be. Oh, and zombies. I was going to collect the crossbow bolts, but... Wow. Maybe I'll Aklas them, I guess. They are just orc zombies. Okay, I'm not going to get the last one, because I'd have to wait for the zombie hiding. Oh, it just did move. Okay. Ooh, polymorph trap. Neat. Um, is this a friendly polymorph folk? No. Um, that's cool. I will definitely get a cat down here ASAP then. Hmm. 
Um, and by ASAP, I mean not ASAP. First, I'm going to explore this further. If I can find it downstairs. I guess it's over by where the leeches and zombies are. Yuck. Maybe it's hiding over here? No. Definitely not hidden under items of any kind. This is kind of semi bad. Because if the mummy keeps chasing me, I think it'll path into the polymorph trap. If I stay below its sight line, though, or above its sight line, I should be fine. Nope, okay. That was not fine, but it just didn't transform. Did they have MR? They, they have 30 MR, huh. Giant mummies are overpowered, man. That's really bizarre. At least I get some giant meat out of it. <sighs> oh, damn. I didn't think a friendly dwarf would do that. You idiot. Well, so much for that poly trap. Okay then. <laughs> there we are. At least we're finding a decent amount of loot of various stripes. We have like five different kinds of daggers. One of them's got to be something decent. One would hope. A can of grease. That is lovely. Except I do not have a hat to apply the grease to because I let it get rotted away like an idiot. So, not so fun. More mithril. Lovely. Only a little bit though. But you can get stone crossbows too. I guess that seems marginally more plausible to me. I don't know why. Than a, sto a stone bow. I guess it feels like... Slightly... Like crossbows might depend less on ten tension. But I don't think that's really true. It's just how I feel in my heart. Nah, I won't eat the gnome noble. It might be... I don't think it would be tainted by then, but why risk it? I have plenty of food. Okay, this is time for our flying amulet to shine. I can, of course... just walk through the water, but then I have to worry about my items resting. And I do not want to deal with that, so... Flight, flight instead. Okay, now we're going to head back up to mine town. Although we no longer need to get a pet to polymorph because that because of that idiot dwarf. Um, all right. I think I'm actually going to stop the video here. And next time we will go back up to mine town, see if we have any awesome weapons. And if we do, we'll find where the hell we put our warhammer and forge cool stuff. If we don't, well, we'll deal. We still gotta explore down to Mine's End, get our luck stone, now that we can sacrifice for luck. And we'll see what we do from there. 
All right. See you guys next time. Bye, folks.